What's up, it's Jess from Curse, and I'm here at the Blizzard booth where I'm waiting to talk to Ben and Jason from Blizzard about Hearthstone, their newest announcement that they just made yesterday. So first of all, what can you tell us about the game for someone who maybe missed the presentation the other day? Sure, so Hearthstone is a collectible strategy game set in the Warcraft universe. You can play as one of nine heroes. Uh, it has a lot of the cool things that our players have come to see from playing their various classes in World of Warcraft or Warcraft back in the day. A lot of fun ways to play the game. Uh, I'm super excited to announce it here at the show. Thank you. Um, one of the things I noticed is that you guys kept talking about how accessible it was. Um, can you maybe talk a little bit more about that? For instance, someone who has never played World of Warcraft or who has never played Magic the Gathering or any other collectible card game. You know, it's, is it easy for them to just jump in and learn within a couple of minutes? Yes, Hearthstone is very easy to just jump it right in and play. It's super accessible, but we managed to keep that strategic depth that makes card games so fun. That was actually going to be one of my one of my big questions I had after the presentation. For someone who does play a lot of Magic the Gathering, for instance, is very competitive, has a high level of knowledge and strategy, would they find this game still interesting or would you would you worry that it might be a little bit too simple for them? Sure, so it's really important to us that whether you're coming to the Hearthstone from never playing the genre before, or if you've actually come just with a lot of years at this point of playing collectible card games, uh, it's a game that's for you. So there's a huge amount of depth to the game, a lot of different interesting complex strategies. There are a really cool concept called secrets where you can actually play things on your turn, the trigger on your opponent's turn to give a little bit more depth to the game. And even though we've had people uh, within Blizzard who've been playing this game for a while now, all of them, particularly playing Magic in the past, none of them have figured out how to master Hearthstone yet. So we feel pretty good about its potential in that regard. And then one of the other things I liked was that you mentioned booster packs in the game that could either be purchased or you could earn cards just by playing a lot. I personally like that free-to-play model a lot, but I know a lot of people have issue with it. They say things like pay to win. What would your response be to that? Uh, Hearthstone, you can play for free forever. Everything that you could pay for with dollars, you could earn in the game just by playing. We wanted to make a free-to-play game that, that felt like it was, it was opt-in. You didn't really have to do that. If you want to get cards faster, or you're looking at something very specific, you're welcome to buy packs. But it's absolutely not something that you have to do in our game. Great. Well, that was about all the questions I had. Was there anything else specifically you guys wanted to mention? I'll just say that basically one of the things we're really excited about is Hearthstone's a game you can get in and play very quickly. It's basically 10-minute matches. You get in, check it out, you come back together, we'll play another match very quickly. So uh, we think that'll be working pretty well with all kinds of players no matter where they're coming from. So very excited to have people check that out. I also want to just add that Hearthstone is a very beautiful game. It's, it's 3D and the spell effects are incredible. This is something that we're, we're really bringing new to card games is this 3D space, the cards kind of shift as you play them. I think this will be a great new window for players to see the Warcraft universe. Yeah, I noticed that in the presentation, it seemed very immersive. Like when the Murloc card came out, I heard the ah, rah, 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 or whatever. So, well, then my last question is going to get a Murloc noise out of each of you. I liked his better. His was a little bit better. <laughs> well, <the laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you. Once again, I'm Jess from Curse. We're at the Blizzard booth. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the game. And this coverage has been brought to you by Alienware.